Hey rappers, what's good? In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the three free ways you can use to make your own mixtape cover, graphic design for social media, and anything else that you would need to make graphics for. Hey, what's up? My name is Hitplay of HitplayBeats.com, and my goal is to help provide rappers with the knowledge they're going to need in order to turn their dreams into their careers. So if you're a serious rapper, make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button down below and you click the notification bell to get notified every single time I release a new video. Also, if you like any of the beats you hear in the background of this video, I'll have direct links listed to each of those beats in the description below. All right, so I'm making this video because I found three free resources that you can use to make your own graphics, whether that be for mixtape covers, whether that be for like flyers for social media, whether that be for or just anything that you would need to make graphics for or edit photos or do anything like that. And I found three different applications. Two of them you can use on your phone. One of them you actually have to download onto your computer, but they're all free. And I'm gonna go over a couple of those real quick. All right, so the first one that we're gonna be going over is gonna be called Canva. I've definitely covered this in previous videos before. Um, I just really love Canva. It's one of the few applications that I use every single day, whether it be for social media posts, whether it be for making mixtape covers and stuff like that. Like it's re a really well-rounded software solution. And while it is kind of limited, you can do a lot with it. And the reason I'm mentioning this one first is that if you've never messed with graphic design or you've never really been able to play with it or figure it out, I would recommend starting with Canva first because it's incredibly beginner friendly and you can learn the basics in Canva and then you can move up to something like what I'm going to talk about next. The second one is called Pixlr and it's basically a free version of Photoshop. You can pretty much do everything that Photoshop can in Pixlr. It's a little tricky to kind of learn because some of the names of things aren't the same. So if you're trying to watch Photoshop tutorials, you can follow along pretty well, but there's going to be a couple things. You'll have to learn what it is and the name of those things. But after you get the hang of that you can do a lot with Pixlr and Pixlr is definitely something that's a lot more feature rich like you can cut things off of different photos say you're trying to make a mixtape cover and you want to have a certain object on the front of your mixtape cover you can actually highlight the object you can cut it out and then put it onto your mixtape cover which is a feature that Canva doesn't have but some of the other things that you're going to miss from Canva is going to be the actual like pre-made dimensions of all your social media posts all of your like mixtape covers like on Canva everything's pretty much sized out for you so when you pick a template it's the right size for that social media or for like a mixtape cover so Pixlr doesn't have that but you can go to Canva and just copy the dimensions and put them into Pixlr all right and so the third and final application that we're going to be talking about that's 100 free to use um, it's not available as a mobile version so you will have to download it to a desktop computer but it's called GIMP and GIMP is a literally free Photoshop it literally can do every single thing that Photoshop can do except for like maybe three or four filter types which are just exclusive to Photoshop but for like what we're going to be doing and like making graphics you're not really going to use those anyway so GIMP is also really cool because if you get Photoshop templates for mixtape covers because you can literally just go to Google and type in mixtape cover template for Photoshop or for or like mixtape cover template PSD, which is the Photoshop file type. You can actually open those into GIMP. Now, the only thing that you might run into that if there's any type of text or like something that somebody typed out, it's going to turn that into an image instead of something that you can edit. Right. But as long as you get the same font, you can just retype and add that text back to the image. But aside from that, all the layers and everything that goes into any of those templates, you'll have access to and you'll be able to edit and remove and do whatever else you wanted with them. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, make sure you go ahead and you hit that like button down below. And if you have any questions, comments or concerns or ideas for future videos, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below as well. And until next time, guys, here's some more videos.